What's good, my fellow Natiba Slayers? In today's video, I'm gonna show you three amazing builds that I love to use in this game. One of them is very aggressive, another one is very defensive, and the last one has a little bit of a balanced build. For the first one, aggression. You're able to one-shot a lot of the small enemies and even bosses fall pretty quickly to this build. You're gonna have the chain type Exospine MK2, the beta trance type Exospine MK2, combo attack enhancement gear, the perfect combat gear, double edge gear MK2, and double edge the regular one. This build right here is gonna be smacking for 2100 attack power, extremely powerful, and I'm gonna show you some gameplay now of me using it before we move on to the next build. For my next build, it's going to be a defensive build. This build is one of my favorites. I actually use this build a lot on certain bosses like Providence and on the Elder Natiba. If you haven't already reached those fights, you're definitely gonna wanna consider using this build when you get there. But let me show you what it looks like. It has the protection type Exospine MK2, and it has the suppression type Exospine MK2, as well as the shield destruction gear which is going to destroy shields a hell of a lot faster, the protection gear, the shield penetration gear, and the beta charge so that you're able to use the shield breaker as well as shockwave so you can lay the enemy down a lot faster. Using grenades in this build will also help you. So if you wanna switch out the protection type for the grenader, that might even be a better idea in certain situations. But if you're going to go up against a boss these do not affect the more powerful Natibas in the game, so it might just be better for you to use protection and or something else for your kit. Now, this thing is a go-to for certain bosses because you have so much defense. And don't forget about your grenades when you're in combat. They can save your life in so many different situations and they're gonna destroy the enemy a hell of a lot faster than they can even know what hit them. Now the DPS might not be as high, but the survivability is extremely great. Not too many items in the game are gonna be able to take you out, and you'll always be able to punish them or destroy them before they even have a chance to know what hit them. When you knock down an enemy now though, they are down for a while. Like they just lay there forever. It's absolutely amazing. So really consider using this the next time you're going up against a boss. And look at this protection. This man, it takes a while using some of his most powerful attacks for him to take me out. He's struggling. Now, if you want some more survivability for this build, you can actually rip out, let's say, one of these shield destructions and or the shield penetration or you can just completely avoid the beta charge altogether and go straight for survivability and apply a healing mechanic to your build. What I mean is, if you actually do, if you use this right here, the combat supply gear, 
MK2, you can actually recover 240 HP every time you defeat an enemy. So this could come in super clutch when you're out in the open world and you just want to explore, have a little bit of fun and feel safe while doing it. As a matter of fact, I'll take you to the most dangerous area in the wasteland and show you exactly how this build can hold up. As you can see, this build works amazingly well. I am in the hardest mode of this game right now, which is hard mode, and you're still able to hold up extremely well, not take too much damage, and still have a great fun time while playing the game. So you should definitely consider this if you want to feel safe while taking on the new challenges of hard mode in your next New Game Plus run. If you're new to hard mode, I would definitely suggest this build for you because you'll be able to survive a lot of the encounters in this game a lot more easily and you can get back HP every time you take out enemies. And for my last and final build that I want to showcase, this was actually recommended to me by one of you guys. I love you guys so much in this community because you always have such insane ideas. This one is the Taki Revenge build. It's absolutely cracked. Now let me show you how it works. I purposely used all of my grenades and my healing items so you can just see how insane this build really can go. What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to have your burst all the way up. So you're gonna wanna have the judgment type exospine, the burst trance type exospine, burst enhancement gear, burst expansion gear, crit enhancement gear, and combo attack enhancement gear. Why? Because when we go into Taki mode one, we're gonna be invincible. You're gonna to want to use the different combos in the Taki mode to take out the enemies. And three, judgment is going to allow us to stay in Taki mode longer. Burst trance, we're gonna actually utilize this a lot because it's increasing the attack power of our burst skills and the burst skill that we're gonna to need to use is gonna be overdrive. So watch this. 
this right here is probably just an insane way to really just pack up a lot of the enemies in this game you're not really doing too much damage otherwise with the taki mode but if you're utilizing all your different overdrives as well as the combos you can destroy anything and even though you're destroying everything you can just stay in taki mode for such a long time it's crazy as long as you have overdrive and a little bit of taki mode it's fun time all the time if you like what we do here on the channel make sure you smash that like button sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips tricks guides and a hell of a lot more for this game i love this game so much and i love you guys you guys are absolutely amazing the best community ever and i can't wait to see you in the next video but that's going to be all for today this is your boy m of m6hd for now i am out of here